Hi, this is Karen and welcome to another Throwback Thursday at Dual Valley Crafts. Today we're not actually making a card, it's another 3D item and it's something that um, I've desperately needed for a little while. Um, I've been keeping all of my die sets that I haven't put into stamp cases in an old delivery box from Stampin' Up! So it's been put into something similar to that. Um, but I've decided I need something to have on my desk that's um, a bit more creative. So um, the die sets I'm talking about are these large ones. Um, these die sets are usually too big to fit in with the stamps unless you buy a separate stamp a, a separate a separate stamp case so i've decided i want these to sit on the desk where i'm going to use them more frequently and they're going to be easier for me to find so what i've done is created this box now as you can see it's only an inch wide so it's not really very secure it can fall down at any time but there's a method to my madness. I'm going to put two together, back to back. On the front, as you can see, I've written out which ones are in here. I've got the elongated hexagons, which are the stitched nested labels dies from the Free as a Bird um, bird ballad suite. Then I've got the detailed bands from Band Together, the hand-lettered prose, which is the praiseworthy, praiseworthy prose bundle, and the snowfall thinlets. Now these little numbers at the side here indicate how many dies are in each set and I've stepped up this even though it's handwritten you could print it out on your computer and I might do that later and just cover it because I'm it's still in the template stage. I've got the die set and the number of dies in the set, the stamp set, and whether it's current or retired, so I can pop that on. So all the sizes for this can be found on my blog. I have already pre-cut everything, um, and I've even created a base for this. So we'll put the easy part together first. I'm just going to um, put some tape on the back of this. I figured it's easy to put this together before the box is actually 3D. I didn't with that one and I'm not sure I actually got it on straight um, and it's a lot more awkward to put this together when it's um, standing upright. So we'll just give each piece of the double-sided tape a burnish and then take the backing off. Now I'm popping this to the lower half of the decorative paper and the reason this is a throwback Thursday is because I'm using old stock that is no longer current. So this is from the Textures Impressions, I think it was called, um, paper set. I really like this set, but I didn't get a chance to use much of it, and it's using all of the, it's using a few colours that are no longer current. The retired 2017-2019 um, colours uh, have gone, so that's why I'm using this one, which is tranquil tide. I even had to turn around and have a look at the list so that I knew which colour I was using. So yeah, this is the tranquil tide and there's tranquil tide in this as well as mint macaron. So I'm actually using this mint macaron ribbon towards the end here. Okay, so we've got our piece of cardstock. As I said, all the measurements can be found on my blog so you don't need to write them down. This is actually a sheet of 12 inch by 9 inch cardstock that I've trimmed. It was a 12 by 12 that I've trimmed down to 12 by 9. Now I'm going to bring my school board in and what you need to do on the 12 inch side you score it at 6 inches and at 7 inches. Turn it round and so you've got the 9 inch side and you just score it at 1 inch and at 8 inches. Very simple scores, just the four scores. And then 
Sorry about that. I don't know. I've got some messages coming through on my phone. Sorry about that. Okay. And what we're going to do is fold and burnish on each of the score lines. And then on these two squares here, where the which are one inch by one inch, right in the middle of the, the length of the paper, we're going to trim up on the outside of each of those scores. Like so. And then come in and just wedge on each of them and on the other side. So we're effectively removing the score mark that is in each of those pieces. So you will have a piece that looks like that. One end is slightly longer from the scoring than the other. Okay, now I've got to remind myself what's the next bit. Okay, bring in your Tombow or your glue of choice. And I've just put that on the wrong spot. <laughs> Silly me. Bear with me a moment. Right. Thankfully, the Tombow can just rub off. It's on the inside of the box, so it really won't make a difference. Nothing particular is going to stick to it. So we'll flip it over and we'll do it the right way. Okay, so what I want to do is just put glue on the two bottom pieces, or the two pieces closest to the fold. And then I'm going to bring that up and sit it flat so that I know I've got that side sitting at a 90 degree angle. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but I'm bringing the tab up to the outside. So that's now sitting at a 90 degree angle, but the tab, the little tab is on the outside. Hold it steady for a few minutes just so that the glue can start to set. That should be okay. Now, in with the Tombow again and put it all the way up the inside of the shorter piece of cardstock. I am putting quite a bit on this um, because I want to make sure it's not going to separate. Okay, I know my mum's going to be sitting there watching this saying, Karen, why have you put so much glue on there? <laughs> Hi mum, hope you're having fun up in Queensland. Okay, now just hold that all together. Now, because I've put the tab, the small tab, on the inside between these two folds, it's not got nothing is going to um, hit them on the inside of the box. So when you slide your um, die cases in, they're not going to get jammed on either side and then knock the box all over the place. That's the reason for hiding them between the two side folds. And now I'm just going to trim that off there and that off there on the diag on the diagonal. And our box is almost finished. Okay, bring in, and I should have put this on there first, but never mind. This is what happened before. <laughs> so I've stuffed up again. Okay. Plenty of our double-sided tape on. Okay, burnish again with a bone folder, like that, and then peel off the 
the tape. Now make sure you put this on the right way up, otherwise you're going to have to learn to read all your die sets upside down. Okay, now where are, I've got five sets here, it'll fit approximately five in, as you can see, and then you can just, when they're all in there, just write down what you've got in there and how many in, in each die. As you can see, it does stand up okay on its own, but it'll stand up even better, more solidly, when there's two pieces together. So I'm just going to more put more Tombow. The Tombow actually gives it more um, stability because when it dries it dries hard so it actually toughens up the cardstock should we say okay so i just pop that aside i'll have to leave it upside down because i'm going to use it again in a minute so we bring our two pieces or our two sections up back to back and then squish them together like so and it does work better if you've already got your die sets in because it gives you something to squeeze a bit more force and they are going to stay together quite well. Now I'm just going to move them aside because I actually created a base for them earlier and that will give it a little bit more stability again to stand up once it's all glued down. So I'll move that to the side for a moment. In with the Tombow again, lots and lots of Tombow. Now yes I know it might have been easier to take the, um, the sets out but I don't mind them being in there. Okay and we're just going to bring that up, it's about even there and the weight of the die set will actually force that down onto the cardstock stand. Now for a little bit more stability I'm going to bring in my ribbon. I did cut a fair bit off. I didn't need to cut so much. So I'm just going to bring that in while it's standing there. And I'm not gonna. I was going to do a bow, but I'm not that proficient at them on when I'm on video. So there we go. And I'll snip that side off there. Whoops. And that side off there, and just move that to the side like so. And it just holds the top together a bit more stably. So there you go. That's not going to go anywhere. It's got room for at least another um, larger set and it can just sit there and I can tell at a glance what I've got in that side and I will be able to, when I've filled it out, tell what's on that side. Yeah, I just realised it's going to be a bit awkward writing on there, but never mind, we'll manage it. Even if I stick a, a stamp case or two down I should be able to see there we go that's fine I'll be able to write on that see where there's a will there's a way <laughs> anyway I hope you like today's project and you will give it a go as I said all the measurements can be found on my blog I might even print out a template for the very front that you can print off um, I'll save it as a PDF so that it's on the website for you. Okay, that's enough from me for today and I will see you again on Sunday. Bye-bye.